Hey everybody, John from JohnLumber.com and John Lumber Digital on Facebook. Here to give you a quick overview of a tool I've been using called Agora Pulse, which is really more than just a Facebook community management tool, uh, but also an app creation tool, app management tool as well. So I'll give you a quick overview of that now. All right, so let's jump into Agora Pulse. This is the Agora Pulse dashboard for John Lumber Digital, the one page that I'm managing with this tool. So this kind of gives you a top view of everything that it collects. Um, we've got number of fans, the current value of those fans, we'll get to that in a minute. Qualification, this is as you collect data through apps you've created. It could be you know collecting the name and email address or whatever it is you, you're collecting. This qualifies them. Um, I have not created such apps at this point. I use short stack, tip, short stack typically for that. So 0% right now are qualified for me. Interaction, 7.7% uh, of my fans are actually interacting with me. Reach, my reach is over 100% because I'm awesome, also because I'm running ads right now. Um, sentiment, this is largely controlled by you. So as I moderate posts, um, I will determine whether something is neutral or positive or negative. So currently, uh, I'm just starting to do that. And we've got the collection of apps on the right hand side, my top fans, and uh, some other interesting. So, this, this is stuff I stuff to moderate. It tells me the best time to publish is on Saturday between 3 and 6, and publish a photo, which is great. That's consistent with what I've been doing. Also, it gives me a quick overview of some of my successes as well as my failures and ooh, some negative feedback, even. So, now let's jump into each one. Applica applications, as you know, I use short stack typically to create my apps. What's nice about Agora Pulse, though, is when you when you create these apps and then collect that information, it all feeds into this tool. So it's something I'll, I'll certainly consider. But I, I haven't actually created any apps yet. I uh, started to, but just to give you a quick look at what you can do. You can create document apps, flash apps, HTML apps, images, petitions, presentations, top fans, videos, contests, coupons, fan votes, instant win, quizzes, sweepstakes, etc. So they give you templates for these, and then uh, but you can customize them all you want. And they've got forms built in that then collect the data that feed into here. So let's jump into the calendar. Uh, so this is just kind of a cool little overview of uh, what I've posted and when. So it kind of it gives you a sense of not only how often I'm posting every day. You'll see certain days I'm posting more than others. But what type of content? So you got photos, status updates, links, video. So that's an interesting view. All right, timeline. So this is a collection of all the activity that's happening on my timeline. So I can view all. I can sort of just by page, by which me is me. Uh, view only fans. I can view only comments, and then sort that out by all page or fans. So this is where all the moderation happens as well, and I can, so I can re read the comment, read the post, I can approve it, I can hide it from the page, I can remove it, I can flag it, and if I have a large team, I can assign it to somebody else, I can actually view it within Facebook, uh, and then you can interact with it here as well. But one of the nice things, you can actually tag something. So you can, if you want to say, oh, this, and this is again only for your view, but say, oh, that's a customer. So I add them as a customer, and once you do that, you can start filtering it by whatever tags you have. So those are some really nice, powerful features that you have there. You can also create a post directly from this view as well. All right, now if I just want to get a closer view of who my fans are, and again, this uh, could become even more powerful when you qualify them. But uh, I can view by posts, number of comments, likes, and it ranks everybody as well. You can view by 30 days or ever. And um, it's kind of really interesting data. And again, it'll become even more interesting if I can qualify these people. Then you can actually then export into CSV. Statistics. You can get some really interesting data here that's otherwise somewhat difficult to collect within Facebook Insights. But uh, now I know within the last 29 days, I've collected 607 new fans, lost 37, uh, but then get a view here of really what's happening every single day. 
how many fans I've got, how many have been added, how many have been removed. Boom, what happened on that day where I lost six? Um, but, you know, very interesting stuff. And then uh, you can get an, uh, another view of your reach. So how many people have viewed, how many are friends of fans, you know, and again, you're kind of looking, all right, what, what happened on each of these days? Well, what's up with these spikes? And then uh, you can look at your page content, uh, looking at the actual activity, number of posts each day, number of comments. Um, this is this, These are the comments by me. So these are the number of posts and comments by me each day. And then um, a and, and number of my likes. But then you get into the fan participation as well. And that's when you see their posts and their number of comments and, um, and their likes. So big day on, on uh, August 6th, apparently. We've got 322 likes. All right, so those are, that's a top view of the statistics. But then you, that's just the page view. You can also look at individual posts. And then um, this is where it gets particularly interesting. It's also color-coded. Um, so, and then you can look through the recommendations, tags, ROI, just really <laughs> deep analytics here. Um, and then uh, you, can, it, you can also compare it to competitors. Now, I wouldn't consider Mari Smith and Grandma Mary direct competitors. But I wanted to compare it to somebody. Um, so you get, first of all, this kind of uh, table view. But if you want to get even in within a versus graphical view, this is really not a fair com uh, comparison. But <laughs> number of fans, people talking about this, um, and some of this data isn't available, um, I believe, because she's not using the tool. But uh, it's really good kind of comparing yourself to what others are doing. And uh, next we've got settings. So you can decide how often you want to sync language. Do some moderation. Uh, so you can add a rule which will determine how something will be moderated. If it will be assigned to somebody, be flagged, it will be tagged or hidden or removed. It's, um, you know, really some, it really makes things much, much easier so you don't necessarily have to do everything manually. Now, one of my favorite things, uh, I wrote a, a post a while back about creating page, page lists, right? Now here's a nice little targeting group. So instead of having to just and every time enter Engl English um, and and Spanish and all that business, um, you can you can actually it goes down here English the other English and and then you you could just create a name for it just plain old English right so you don't have to enter both of them. Um, or you could just say, I want to create a list or a group that's targeted just to, uh, you know, certain countries within a certain region. So I know that, you know, they have similar time zones. So maybe you'll just create um, a group for Europe and start, you know, going in that. Oops, good spelling there, John. United Kingdom. Um, yeah. And you can start just going on and on and on. You know, Spain, Italy, whatever. Keep going and keep going, and you create that list. So then you don't have to, you know, add in all the countries every time you want to target that group. So that's really a Gore Pulse in a nutshell, top view. But I've had a lot of fun kind of digging in, and I found it to be a really powerful and helpful tool. I think you will too. I mean, not only for community management and moderation, but you know these Facebook apps, integrating the, the actual data you're collecting from those Facebook apps, fan qualification as a result, finding value in those fans. And like I said, so um, you can create value, determine that value through this ROI measurement, and determine how valuable is a qualified fan, an engaged fan, CPM, link, link, positive sentiment. So you can go to your whoever it is you report to, or if it's yourself, determine you know how successful you've been based on ROI. So great stuff, and the analytics, you know, invaluable as well. So I encourage you to try it out. Um, if you go to agorapulse.com, there are various 
uh, pricing structures. What, what, what I like about this is it's the, the competitors I see for it are companies like Wildfire and Buddy Media, but those are really pricey and more directed towards the large companies with big budgets. And this is really for Agora Pulse, I consider for any size company. So um, you, you can start with a $9 a month, $29. It just really depends on how large you are and what you want to commit to, but you can also try it out for free for two weeks. So I encourage you to check it out. Um, view my full review on johnlimmer.com uh, for more reviews like this one. You can also go to my site or like my page on Facebook at John Lumber Digital. Thanks.